Hey guys, Reed here. Today I'm going to show you a different way that I've figured out how to use the field parameters with in the case of being able to have a main visual on the first page that you see here and being able to incorporate some tool tips where depending on my field parameter selection on this page, it will automatically switch the fields on the tooltip page as well. Now, the setup for this is actually going to be fairly straightforward and simple and just require a single relationship. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So I have a couple of items in front of us here. I have a visual that is controlled by a slicer here at the top. We select the slicer. We can see that it is using a parameter for field selection here. And then those fields are actually displaying in the visual as well on the y-axis with some total sales showing and linked to a tooltip page. So with channel name selected as my field, we can see that I have continent as the breakout for the bar chart in the tooltip. If I select product category, that is also going to connect here and that's going to now show total sales by category on the first visual and the tooltip is total sales by product subcategory. Now the tooltip page, all that this has here is that also has a visual with a separate field parameter for tooltip selection and then total sales. Now let's go take a look at the data view first. So each of these here, tooltip selection, if I look at that, two rows for continent and product subcategory with a selection order as a key. And then similarly for my selection one, I have channel name and product category with also the order as well in this column, which I actually use as a key. So taking a look at the relationship view, all I've done between these two is I've actually joined them based off of the key. So this way, when I make a selection on page one, because the tooltip inherits and gets uh, filters propagated from the main visual to the other one, this key automatically filters the other table between tooltip selection and field selection. So it passes that relationship back and forth, which is how this is able to achieve for, there we go, the different levels that are shown. Because basically, it's like making this selection here at the top, where between these two, I'm selecting one of these, which technically is also selecting a row for that other field parameter that I have. So that's how I'm able to show different fields here on the axis for the main visual and the different fields on the axis for the tooltip one. So you can keep them in sync in that regard. And for the most part, all I came up to is I did modeling, I created a new parameter. And as one example, it's the difference between, let's just assume product category. And if I was to do the other one for store or channel or anything else, I just built these out one at a time using that field parameters option. Now the goal of this is just to show another implementation of how to use field parameters and in this case incorporate them with tool tips. So hopefully that's something you can take away with you. I will say that if you want some more of an introduction to field parameters and their use cases, I'll link you to the video down below that will walk you through more of the basics and fundamentals that I did a few months back. But otherwise, I will recommend that uh, if you liked this video, please go ahead and check out some of my related videos up here on the right. And I want to thank you for watching, staying through to the end. And hopefully, again, this has been useful for you. And otherwise, I'll see you on my live stream or in my next video.